get really angry about the war, the way it was uh, sold to us with lies, and just the whole senselessness of it, the war in Iraq, but actually most wars, if not all wars, three feet high by 16 feet long. One of them is uh, entitled uh, Collateral Damage. The background of the poster collateral damage is made up of about 17,000 little coffin shapes, and each coffin shape represents seven civilians who've died in the so-called War on Terror, including those who died on 9-11. I like the stark black and white contrast of woodcuts, and I find a medium that's good for political art. In this one, I, I have the American flag, both burning and bleeding, symbolizing the pain and the destruction of uh, self-destruction of the empire. Skeletons flying on missiles, burning money, skeletons with bombs falling on uh, camels, representing kind of the victims. Dick Cheney with a gas pump. And on the gas pump it says, this scale, sale, we screw you. Morning doves, which are the Wisconsin symbol of peace, which for some reason a lot of Republican legislatures want to shoot it. The works I have in the exhibition are a series of screen prints and relief cuts that are based on a variety of tanks and animals, and I use them as visual indicators for human behavior. Uh, the more, majority of the works are inspired by growing up uh, in Oklahoma next to Fort Sill, one of the largest military bases in the continental United States. And the idea of violence, war, and that type of imagery, how it's used in a world viewpoint, but um, or how I guess I see it as an indicator of representing America in a world viewpoint. Being half Iraqi and half American, I feel that I'm in a very unique position to have a perspective on the situation of the war. I submitted two paintings in this art show titled White Knuckles, and it is a response that I had to the Haditha massacre. A roadside bomb had gone off. It had killed a Marine, thus sparking a uh, retaliation where the Marines killed 24 civilians in their homes. My second painting, more symbolic, whose title is Ghost Dance of the Nile. I call this piece Rage Against the War. It's supposed to be a section of a fence taken from a war zone or some place uh, where there's conflict. This The second piece I have in the show is a two-part piece. It's called Before War and After War. Part one showing kind of a generic portrait of a happy family and in part two of course they are the victims of war. Uh, this piece is called Facing the Enemy. Our worst enemy is our own species. And I was working on this picture of this girl that I found on a it was some kind of tin noisemaker from like the 1930s or 40s. She just really reminded me of one of these German propaganda posters. I ended up calling that Hurrah for Empire Building because it just reminded me of a 1940s Nazi propaganda poster. The Spaceman, again, is against uh, US expansionism and empire building. And then the final piece, the go to war with the army you have, which is a famous quote by Donald Rumsfeld, an answer to a soldier about <clears throat> why they didn't have adequate body armor or armor for their Humvees when they went in to Iraq. Um, the pieces that I included in the show were the result of work I've been doing throughout the course of these eight long years of President Bush and the coarsening of the American spirit, the general sadism of this administration's approach to uh, politics and the, uh, the cruelty toward uh, people that it captures and toward its own citizens. And eight years of uh, having 
been lied to. So these things are just reactions to my, to the oppressor, to the tyranny of the administration. Basically, we've just made a large print that says art can't stop a war in huge letters to go in a anti-war art show. It's a call to action poster. Anti-war art shows and things of that nature are really great, but what people really need to do is get out on the streets and rally and march on Washington and things of that nature. And what it's saying is go do something. Doesn't matter what it is really, just do something. Um, is a uh, three-dimensional work uh, composed of found objects and it um, reflects my revulsion over our current leadership, particularly personified by George W. Bush, who is beautifully the puppet, if you will, of the neoconservatives and the people who wish to uh, keep the middle class strongly in check, who wish to keep war going in order to keep themselves in power. And they do it by any means possible, including uh, lies, uh, which is uh, featured in, in the Pinocchio-like uh, puppet figure with a long uh, nose that uh, essentially is screwed, screw which uh, tells us something about how we're trying to get screwed. I have six pieces in the show, full color cartoons. The whole idea of empire uh, inspired these paintings. Mars Attacks was based on H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. The original intent has been ignored. H.G. Wells wrote War of the Worlds in 1898, and it was a, a criticism of the British Empire. And he places it in Britain, and the Martians come and start treating the British like the British treated uh, the indigenous peoples of nations all over the world. I'm using it as a metaphor for the U.S. invasion of Iraq. Iraq has the second largest oil reserves in the world. It is right in the midst of the major energy re reserves in the world. It's been a primary goal of U.S. policy since World War II to control what the State Department called a stupendous source of strategic power and one of the greatest material prizes in history. Establishing a client state in Iraq would significantly enhance the strategic power, a matter of great significance for the future. It would provide the U.S. with critical leverage over its European and Asian rivals a conception with roots in early post-war planning. These are substantial reasons for aggression, not unlike those of the British when they invaded and occupied Iraq over 80 years earlier in the dawn of the oil age. The specter of war, the uh, materials from which it's made uh, actually go back to 1945 when I was a photographer uh, in the uh, Army Signal Corps, Army Medical Corps. It's the feeling I had about war at that time and the uh, terrible destruction. So it's symbolic in that sense. The picture of Uncle Sam in a death mass and a little kid there watching. This little kid came along and was looking at it. There we have the, the dark vision. A local member of uh, Veterans for Peace who has cut a giant uh, uh, peace symbol. The, the, the crowd was whipped up into a great deal of enthusiasm, and they were all shouting, uh, shouting at the top of their voice for peace. Take me out of the army. Take me out of the war. I can't shoot and I can't kill. Whose army are we on anyhow? I don't care if they got another religion. Well. Those guys look like us, don't they? Root, root, root for humanity.